Welcome to another LMI demo video. Today we will set up and use the Array Decision Tool. Using this tool, we will also set up the Array Index Tool. Both of these tools utilize arrays in our GoPixel software. The Array Decision Tool allows for local limits to be set on individual elements of an array. This is important when a global limit is not applicable. The Array Index tool allows for outputting of a single element of an array. This output then can be sent to a PLC utilizing any of our industrial protocols. Getting started, we have five scans taken on a GoCater 2630. These scans highlight 3D features of RAM modules. As we can see in our data viewer, some of the microchips are missing. We can use some of our 3D tools to demonstrate how we can detect and sense that these microchips are missing. Let's locate the part using some surface edge tools. Looking at this from a 2D sense, we will find an edge in a vertical section. By setting up a surface edge tool here, it gives me an X and Y value, and as well as a line that I can utilize. Repeating this step again, getting a horizontal line, gives me an X and Y, and also a line. Utilizing both these features, I can create an intersection point from both lines. This intersection point now creates a datum that we can use later for measurements. Let's remove some of the unwanted data and focus on the microchips. Let's apply a surface mask. Applying a surface mask not only masks data in X and Y, but also in Z. Utilizing this mask, we can take away all of the data except for our microchips. So from this tool, this is what I'm left with. Utilizing this mask, we then can apply a surface blob tool. The surface blob tool allows us to get individual data on each blob or surface. For this example, we're just going to focus on center X values. It should be noted that the ordering of these blobs is by position X increasing. This means that these blobs in this array are going to be ordered based on their X value and X value being increasing from left to right. This tool, we have enabled array output, which allows us to then use this center X array in a tool after this one. So jumping into some measurements now, here we're gonna utilize the datum that we created earlier in our feature intersect, and we're gonna utilize the width feature on this feature dimension. This is gonna be our X value from our datum to the center of these blobs as shown in the visualizer. When I look at this array, I can see that a global limit would not work here. Each element has a unique value that a global limit would not work. This is where the array decision tool comes in. Bringing in that array of dimensions, which is the width output. We can now tell the tool how many elements there are. In this case, there's 11. Then I can apply local limits. So a minimum value and a maximum value, starting at element zero, and then element one, element two, and so on. All for 11 elements here. This tool will output a series of data, that being the fail count, the minimum fail index with the failed value, the maximum failed index with the maximum failed value, and it'll also give you the failed indices and failed measurements. Obviously, in this case, we aren't seeing any failures because all of the microchips are there. But if we go to an example where we are missing a microchip on scan four, we can see now we have a fail count of five elements are now failing with our minimum fail index being um, element four with a minimum fail value of 23. So I go to four, we're outside of the range that we've set here. The valuable part of this is the array that we can output here in failed indices. We have an array 
element four, five, six, seven, and eight failed. The measurements being then collected here. So the fourth measurement would be 23, the fifth would be 18, the sixth would be 12, and so on. Taking this array, if we wanted to output this to a PLC or a control system outside of GoPixel, this is where an array index would come in. Jumping to the array index tool, we can select the array that we want to pull values from. In this case, I'm going to pull the first failed index. So if I select the index here and I tell it which element, we're starting at element zero, it'll get that value of four. So then I want to take the measurement that went with this failed index. So then I will add another array tool and I will go to the failed measurements array and pull the element zero, which is the 23. And just for showing, we will do this again for the next index. So we'll go to the failed indices again. And this time we're gonna select the first index after zero, which is one. Our measurement index e, five. We will also grab the value that went along with five. So again, I'm picking the failed measurement, selecting index one, which is the value that correlates with five. Utilizing these four tools here, we could pass these measurements to a PLC. So if I go to our industrial tab here and I choose one of our industrial protocols, let's for this example, choose ethernet IP. We can add these measurements through using our scan output table, selecting measurements and then selecting our array index failed measurement zero. And I will add that to the output. So now at address zero, there's five bytes being the value in that array index tool and the decision bit. And then I can add the other measurement, which is failed measurement array index tool. And this is the second measurement. And there you have it. So now I'm pulling the values from an array, I'm indexing them out, and now I'm outputting them to a, a PLC using Ethernet IP. These are just one of the features that is in GoPixel. Feel free to reach out to any of us at lmi3d.com for more information on new features included in GoPixel.